Bases on YouTube were almost always horrible. For every gem, there were at least a thousand shitters. In this series, we're going to pick apart some of the worst of these. For bad two, we're looking at the solitude from Rexmoor. We begin with the raid. We officially defeat this base for 12 rockets due to an unupgraded half wall supporting the crossroof stability bunker, though if this was fixed, you could splash the roof from outside and create a path for 14. Under my usual format, I would talk about the upkeep now, but instead, we need to talk about Rexmoor's big lie. In order to stress test this base design before recommending it to you, I blow the thing up. I blow the thing up. I blow the thing up. I don't think Rexmoor actually did any raid testing. Further, I think that Rexmoor only included this as a segue for their sponsor. And of course, in order to test these designs, I need my own incredibly stable server, and that's why I recommend today's sponsor. You could argue incompetence instead of dishonesty, but I don't agree. I think this is someone genuinely not caring if they're correct because it doesn't matter for their income. It even goes unnoticed by their audience. Two weeks after the video was released, there were 99 comments. Not one of them identified the stone half wall as a flaw, despite this absurd claim at the top of the video. No easy raid paths, no real weaknesses. And the juiciest irony of all, let's watch that clip again, but frame by frame. Did you catch that? Rexmore is standing on the unupgraded half wall while bragging about stress testing during an obviously staged raid test. In order to stress test this base design before recommending it to you, I blow the thing up. I reached out to Rexmore several times and even delayed releasing this video, hoping to get a response, but received none. Which I suppose makes sense. Accountability isn't related to their business model. All right, enough complaining about Rexmore. Let's get back to talking about the base. Rexmore's video declined to show the upkeep, which also makes sense given it sucks. Over 3k stone for this? Really? Just like with bad one, the root cause for this is half walls. I'll spare you my half walls of the devil speech, but I still want to put this into perspective. This base is more expensive to build than this six story tall dollhouse of a two by two. But the worst part about this base is the absolute dog shit mobility, which is entirely due to a lazy bunker implementation. Could we fix all of this? Unlike with Lefty's base in Bad 1, this time the answer isn't a complete no, though I don't think the original layout can work. Here's the direction I went with it. Same raid cost, better upkeep, and infinitely improved mobility. You can check it out on Builder Sanctuary as well as the original base. Codes are in the description. If you'd want a video dedicated to this remix or the process I used for it, let me know down below. If you have a suggestion for the next base I should look at, leave a comment or hit me up on Easy Building Discord. Anyway, that's it for this video. As always, have a wonderful day.